Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me today for another video. So in this instalment we'll be looking again at the R Finder B1. I recently reviewed this radio which is an amazing piece of kit and it incorporates a 4G LTE network radio and a fully functioning self-programming DMR and analog transceiver. And I'll drop a link to the first video in the box below. So today I thought I'd do a quick sort of second look at this and we'll be touching base with a good friend of mine, Paul G7LNK, whose channel I'll also link in the description below and we're going to try the radio out on Zello. For those who don't know, Zello is a really useful PTT over 4G or Wi-Fi application that complements radio nicely as that extra tool in your belt should you need emergency communications. So I've got the app installed on the device and I've got Paul on the screen, so let's make contact with him. You'll note there's a transmit PTT and a POC button or PTT over cellular button, meaning you can operate both of these modes side by side. Okay, Paul, are you receiving? Yeah, Rog, receiving. Yeah, I've got yeah, I'm doing a little bit of filming for what it's worth as well. I've got the phone on my 3D printed stand and uh, I was just looking at a radio I'd got off of eBay. And uh, I'll talk about that in a second if you want. But uh, yeah, it's sounding good there, Lewis. Yeah, no worries, great stuff. I'm just using the R Finder B1, as I said to you um, before when we were setting up this, this bit of the chat. It's the self programming DMR. So obviously we're, we're not on DMR now, we're on Zello. But I just thought I'd give, uh, give a little bit of a demo of how, how Zello works on it. So. Yeah, we're obviously on Wi Fi at the moment, not on 4G, on Wi Fi in the, uh, in the house. but. Yeah, you're sounding good. Um, I think you said you're on your on your phone, so yeah, that's uh, that's good. It's sounding sounding fine. Nice nice audio. Back to you. Yeah, likewise, mate. I'm uh, I'm I'm like you, a little bit further away from the phone than I would normally be because I'm filming. But um, the uh, I'm just using a OnePlus 5T here at this end with Zello on. Um, but as as people might know, I've also got a, a repeater set up for Zello as well, which isn't operating tonight. But um, that's also very useful, and that's probably how I use Zello more really when I sort of go out for walks and things. So um, that works really really well. But no, it sounds good, Lewis. Um, it's uh, it's not a mode I've used a great deal, um, Zello, but it's a very, very useful feature to have, isn't it? And uh, it's a useful addition, particularly linking it up as a repeater as well. But no, it sounds really good there. Go ahead. Yeah, great stuff. All the repeaters, the repeaters uh, great. I'll, uh, I'll put a link to that video below uh, this one, actually, Paul. But yeah, no, that sounds, uh, that's, that sounds good. Um... Yeah, it's just another... another nice avenue to have isn't it it's another another sort of little tool under the belt for when you need uh, when you need quick comms and this is quite handy it's got the dual ptt so it, it has a, a an rf ptt and then a poc or ptt over cellular ptt which is, is quite handy so you can sort of talk between the two and sort of relay information and things like that so so what radio did you buy off ebay then paul yeah, I bought a, um, a TRC-74, a realistic one, and the guy's selling it. Of course, you never know what you're going to buy when they say it's not working. But the screw in the back of it um, was kind of like uh, it was loose and rattling around. But rather than just send the radio in two hours, it glued the back of the case onto the radio. So I can't even open the damn thing up. It's kind of super glued it or something. Oh, so annoying. I mean... The radio is from 1977 and it's in really good nick, but I, I want to get it working, but I'd have to destroy it to take it apart. You just have to sometimes watch that on, on eBay when you're, when you're paying. You know, I mean, it wasn't free. It was like 20 quid or something. So make a good ornament, but I've got no chance of repairing it. So I know people have been watching some of those uh, my walkie-talkie videos, which is good. And uh, But you, you, yeah, you do just have to, um, if you're not sure, ask the seller because, uh, yeah, this was a bit annoying, but you've had it yourself, haven't you? You've had that scanner that where somebody had listed, clearly listed, a, um, or, or you'd received a scanner that wasn't the same scanner that was in the photograph, Rod. Yeah, I know what you mean, Paul. It's uh, it's hard, isn't it? You never know. You never know. It's sort of a case of buyer beware, isn't it? Um, yeah, the, the scanner I got sent was in horrific condition, but these things happen. Well, I hope you get it sorted anyway. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna say seven three. Let you go. But cheers for the quick chat and the quick test. It's, uh, it's good to know that this is sounding well on Zello. Uh, 7-3, have a good evening and we'll catch you again. Yeah, nice speaking with you, Lewis. Take care and have a nice evening. We'll catch you later. Cheers, mate.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that quick demo of Zello there. Uh, as you can see, it works as expected and the audio quality is really good. Uh, stay tuned for more on this device when we'll be going out and testing the radio itself. Uh, and if you want to take a further look, then the link to Moonraker's page is in the description below. And all I have to say is 7-3. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.